Hey everybody, so I have a question. You know we are building a dual motor uh, limitless that we will try to take to 200 miles an hour. Well, this is a Castle 1700 KV motor 2028. And this motor has been in our limitless for about 25 passes total and approximately nine crashes. <laughs> so the question is, is this motor still okay after all the abuse that it has suffered? And will we use this motor in our upcoming dual motor car, which is gonna have two of these motors with two XLX2s? So what we're gonna do is run the tests with this uh, SkyRC motor analyzer, and we're gonna see, does this motor appear to still be a good motor we're gonna look at the KV rating, we're gonna look at the amperage that it's drawing, and we're gonna see how much noise it's making and what the timing is. So all those things combined should let us know, is this motor still okay? So here we go, first test is we're going to check the KV. The motor is already set on a four pole motor. You can see it says four. So we're set to a four pole motor and we're going to run a KV test. So we'll push that, we'll push this, and you can see it's all zeroed out. And here we go. So we are at full throttle. We are drawing 5.6 amps. We're at 7.1 volts and we're at 12,000 RPM. The motor is spinning very well. I don't hear a lot of noise. I do not feel excessive vibration. So I would say that seems to be all right. And this little 2S battery is a trooper for, for handling five point some amps. Let's see. It's getting warm. All right, so we see that it's, all the ratings are correct. So it is doing well. So let's slow it back down. And let's see, when we rotate this, you guys see those lights changing? That's the Hall Effect sensor, so we know the Hall Effect sensor is working well. All right, so here we go. So the next test we're gonna do is the motor timing test. So press this, so it's gonna spin it up, and it's gonna measure the timing of the motor. So the average timing is 18, 17, 17, 19 on phase uh, C. That variation is not good, but the motor is still completely fine. Uh, if the variation was very high, then, then that would really be not good. But 17, 17, and 19 is not a big deal. Let's try it one more time. Eighteen with 17, 17, and 19 again. So that's consistent. Um, the motor is completely fine. So let's see. The next one we're going to do is noise level. Now, doing the noise level, you guys have to put it on the stand because it does need to actually hear the motor. So if the motor is sitting off to the side, I mean, it's, it's best if you put it on the stand for the noise of the motor. So we're going to do... Noise test, we're going to set it on there. And let's accelerate. So the noise level, we got 91 decibels, 94 peak. And it is making a lot of noise on the stand. Like if you take it off the stand, The motor is running extremely smooth with no weird vibrations, no weird sounds. We got 87 decibels with 95 decibels peak. So that's that's good. All right, so bring it to a stop. Now, that's all the tests that we are able to do. Let's try one more time on the KV. 
accelerate it. Crank it up. All right, so we are running at full throttle. You can see 1700 kV, 12,000 RPM, seven volts. So this, this motor is perfectly good after all those runs, after all those crashes, and after all that abuse and all the times that I have overheated it. This motor is still good. This motor is a trooper. Castle is absolutely amazing. We have two more of these motors on the way and two of them are gonna go inside of our new Limitless and shoot for 200 miles an hour. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.